All right, so here's one for y'all. Look at D2. See, it's at 33 degrees, 33.5 degrees. Now, the job here says that this was an alarm, and as you can see, it clearly has been. So, it's been in the 40s, 50s, all day. Barely getting into the 30s sometimes. I wanted to make sure that my sensor is good. So you can see, it's reading 32.9 right now. And that's because I've got the sensor in ice. Believe it or not, this is the sensor. Had it hanging, and it hangs just up there. It was. And it will again because it's good. We know it's good because we just saw it on the computer. So we're gonna put that back, just like it was, just like so. Now what's going on with this place is the door. See the door? The door should look like, well, I'll show you. All right, so you see this thing, right? This thing right here? That's called a V-cam roller assembly. And it goes, Right there. Here it is, right here. You see? So this, this here wraps around that thing, okay? And you tighten it with these bolts, wraps around and holds it. And so it goes a little something like that. Uh huh. It lifts the door, and you're therefore able to open it. In this case, this door is a piece of shit. And they need to replace it. It gets stuck both ways, like that, see? And like that. At least this one is doing what it's supposed to. Watch it, it's gonna lift. You see it lift and drop? That's what's up. No drop, no lift, no self-close. Okay? When that door's open, and this one's open, combined with the fact that the prep area over there, it doesn't work. It's been, it's dead. It doesn't work. It's like 70 degrees in there. When this door's open, you get a draft coming through, and we get high temperatures all day long. Now, I've already submitted a report for this, and this is another dispatch, another call for it, and... There's really not much I can do. They gotta approve fixing the doors. That's just the way it is. I've already given these guys a quote, or we have given them a quote, or we should be preparing a quote, mind you. I've done my part. To get them a replacement doors or repairs on the doors. And so here's my unit right there, 44 degrees. I'll make sure it comes down. Now I also had this compressor right here red light red light on had compressor off and locked out so I unplugged it right here the OMB oil control you'll find it on most compressors like this on these racks of this age you just unplug it when the red light's on a few seconds plug it back in and it start back up then you watch what's happening here if the oil level drops and it stays below halfway for two minutes, it'll alarm. So when that comes on, if it doesn't fill within two minutes, if it stays on for two minutes, it'll alarm. If it does that five times, it'll lock out. That was also happening here. When I got here, I had a suction pressure right about there, 48. I wonder why it's so damn high right now. You know, they might not all be on. I don't know kind of feels like they are, but what you can do is you can check. You can feel here on the suction. You can feel it. All right. Feel it. Feel it. This one's off. That son of a bitch is off. Why? I don't know why. I don't know. Good question. Perhaps it's not calling. Let's see if we can find out. Let's see if we can see if it's calling or not. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nope. 
back overview. Compressor, D1 on. Compressor D1 is not on. Yeah, if it was on, this discharge line would burn the shit out of me. It's not on. Why? I wonder why. Now it is because compressor D1 is not on that my suction pressure is up at 47, 48 with a set point of 37. So with the suction, suction pressure so high and set point, it's going down now. I guess other cases must have been cycling off. But with a, such a high suction pressure, that's going to be why this one sometimes will drop slowly. We're at 41.6 now. That suction pressure got to come down for us to see the difference. At least we know that the sensor is good. And that's really all I wanted to show you guys. This uh, whole compressor thing, I'm going to fix that or figure it out, but that's another video. I just wanted you guys to see how to test the sensor is really where this all started. But I got carried away with more diagnosis. So we're getting alarms here and the cause of the alarms are uh, three different things that I can, I can find right now. D1 not working sometimes, D6 oil control tripping out on alarm, but it takes forever for it to do so because now that it's back on and working, it's uh, working fine. So that's stupid if you ask me. And then the doors is the main issue. We get the doors closed and we get them to self-close and replace the, the gaskets on them or whatever those are. This will have a much better chance of going down quicker if all the compressors were running. But that's another video, you guys. So, have a nice day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all next time.